I need to share this with everyone. Everyone out there needs to hear this. I think this is the most amazing, potentially life perspective changing thing I have ever heard in my entire life. So I uh, literally had one of these mind blown moments. I just finished reading Start With Why by Simon Sinek. It's a book. He's a, he's a great motivational speaker. I heard him live last summer in Nashville. Absolutely fantastic man. But it wasn't until I finished reading this book, the second to last chapter, where I literally I, I literally almost lost it. I, I think this perspective is amazing for anyone in any position, not necessarily fitness, nutrition, but your jobs, your life, anything. So Simon tells this story of a distance runner named uh, Ben Coleman. And Ben Coleman works hard, trains hard, you know, gives it everything he has, but he's faced with one major adversity. And that is that Ben has cerebral palsy. So he has physical limitations on his running ability. And no amount of training or hard work will help him completely overcome that adversity because it's just, a, it's something he has to, to manage to cope with or, or accept. Um, but he races regardless because he loves racing. And what he does, he starts to race just like anyone else. He's on the start line, the gun goes off, the runners all take off. They start off in a nice big pack. Slowly, the faster ones outpace. The slower ones start to fall the back. And after a few kilometers, everyone's kind of spread out. But it's not long before Ben is all the way back at the back by himself. No one else to look at. No one else to inspire him or motivate or push him to keep going, to run, and to stick with it. And, and the look on his face of just pain and agony that it takes for him to run and push himself to do this run is uh, is almost heart-wrenching and Ben falls and he scrapes himself and he gets up and he dusts himself off and he keeps running and this happens over and over and over again the amazing part of this story isn't overcoming adversity it's not picking yourself up when you fall back down while all valuable life lessons it's not the most amazing thing about this story the most amazing thing is is that as Ben continues his race races are finishing well in advance of him but then they're doubling back and running behind Ben. They're running with him. So when he finishes the race, every other person in that race is finishing behind him. And the, the point of this is, is that Ben doesn't compete with anyone. He doesn't compete with those runners. He knows he's not going to beat those other runners. So he only competes with himself. He only strives every day to be better than he was the day before. And when you start competing with yourself to be better than you were, instead of better than other people, when, you try, when you're trying to be better than other people, no one wants to help you. If I told you right now watching this, I'm gonna be better than you at whatever it is that you're best at in your life. You're not gonna really think highly of me and you're, you're going to almost resent me and compete with me to stay better than me. But if I'm saying I'm going to be better than I was yesterday, there's more of a natural inkling to help me get better than I was. And that's the story with Ben. And that's what Bren, Ben brings to the forefront. And I thought that was the absolute most amazing story and worth sharing that, you know what? Compete with yourself. You get better and other people want to help you. You compete with others and everyone's working against you. And I think that's a valuable lesson that we can all take into our lives. And if we applied that into our daily lives, my God, we would all be incredibly happy. We would be so helpful and uh, it would just be an amazing world. So uh, take from that what you can, but I, that's definitely a life lesson that uh, is going to stick with me for a long time. Have a great day.